everybody. So today I have Mermaid Chenille with me today. I wasn't sure at first if I wanted to buy her. I did like her design, but I wasn't really sure if I wanted to buy her at first because the mermaids are so expensive and I thought maybe I'll just wait for a sale. But when you really think about it, when it comes to dolls of color, diversity is so important that the whole buying them is an important thing. Um, if you don't buy these types of dolls, like if you don't buy dolls of color, um, like Miss Chenille here, companies may think that people don't want diversity, they don't want um, black dolls, and then they won't make as many black dolls in upcoming lines. But if she sells really well, they'll probably add more black dolls to the Mermaids line. So, obviously I want them to add more black dolls to their line. So I decided that I would purchase her to make sure that that happens. So I'm going to do a review of Miss Chenille today and talk about that. So I didn't just purchase her for diversity's sake. Um, I obviously do like her design. She has a really pretty bow in her hair. It is removable, but I'm going to leave it in. It's very nice. And she has really pretty heart earrings and she has a nice fluffy coat and she comes with a top with a bow on it very cute and she has these arm warmers with little blue bows on them as well and she has a she has a silver belt that says mermaid and she has a white belt that is just like a piece of cloth that's like a kind of like a fin and then she has her tail and her tail is kind of like a kind of like a really nice fitted skirt and it has pockets and it flares out at the bottom with a zipper which I think is really cool and then she has her perfume bottle purse that says chenille on it it has her name super cute or chanel I should say she's super cute um, I like her a lot. She is super cute. Um, she has really pretty brown eyes and she has blue makeup. Some pink lips. So what I like about this doll is that she's very nicely styled and she's very glam. So that's really cool. And she can stand on her own. But because of her tail is a bit top heavy, I mean her tail is a bit light. Um, I would not recommend standing her too much on her tail. I'm probably just going to have her displayed. Kind of laying like this. But just, um, she's really cute though. Honestly, if you want diversity, you do have to support diversity with your doll dollars. Um, I cannot stress that enough as a doll collector. Um, diversity does not happen from people just buying white dolls. It's just not. <laughs> um, if you want diversity in doll lines, you actually have to go out and buy um, dolls of color for yourself or for your children or whatever. You have to buy them. So you cannot just complain about diversity if the dolls are not selling. The company just won't make them. It's just life. Um, so if you want diversity, you have to support what's actually on the shelves. Um, so that they'll make more. So, yes. Um, she is really nice doll, though. Um, I like her. I do think that the fin is a little bit um, wobbly. It's actually a little bit weak, which people have told me that it may break. So I actually recommend buying this doll in store if you possibly can. Uh, if you have to order online, just hope you don't get a broken one. But if you possibly can, get her at the store. Um, it's, a, it's a little bit more expensive to get them at the store. But it is worth it if you can pick out the one you want. Um, you can choose from a couple. Um, the bows are really nice. Really nicely done. Yes. So yes. Um, I'm actually pretty happy with her. I wasn't sure if I was going to like her that much because I wasn't sure about the hair bow being a separate piece. 
but it looks like it's actually secured pretty well where it's not going to come out because there's actually a actually one of those like kajinker things in her hair so the bow won't actually come out so I don't know if there's more kajinkers but there's at least one kajinker in there keeping the bow in place so that does help um yeah I don't know if there's kajinkers inside the bow let me see are there kajinkers in here I don't know but there is a kajinker holding the bow onto the hair so that it won't it won't just slide out on you even if the hair ties break which is a good thing um yeah so there is a kajinker in there and there are a lot of hair ties so I can't guarantee that the bow won't ever slip out but it's pretty secure on there so yeah she is really nice so I do like her um, if you didn't know, my Claudine actually broke, so I'm pretty depressed right now. So that's another reason why I got this girl. Just something to cheer me up. And I will see you guys next time. Make sure to like and subscribe. Bye now.